After almost two years, we finally have our first look at The Crown Season 5 in its first official trailer. Join me today as I break down the trailer, plot details and promotional posters for the new season. Now I'm bringing all the latest news and updates for The Crown and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. There is definitely extremely heightened pressure on the producers of The Crown considering the Queen's death just over a month ago, and many are questioning the timing surrounding the release of this promotional material. Creator Peter Morgan had placed a pause on filming season 6 out of respect, and they are releasing promos a bit later than they usually would, but the original release date of November 9th appears to still be going ahead. A pause on filming just isn't good enough for some, including Dame Judi Dench, who has called on Netflix to add clear disclaimers that the show is a work of fiction out of respect for the late Queen Elizabeth. But whether you like it or not, we now have a trailer, so let's talk about what we're seeing here. This trailer really shows a house in ruin, both literally and figuratively. The Queen obviously desperately trying to keep her family together, but then the internal struggle of whether that's even the right thing to do. We see some iconic Diana moments, the black revenge dress of course, and her sitting down to do her famous interview, where she admits having Camilla as part of her marriage made it a bit crowded. All this underscored by a beautiful cover of Bittersweet Symphony and a perfectly chosen song for this period of the monarchy. Season 5 is said to cover the 1990s, specifically focusing on 1992, infamously a horrible year for the royal family, a year that saw the breakdown of Charles and Diana's marriage as well as two other royal marriages, this alongside the fire at Windsor Castle and countless other scandals affecting the royal family. Currently it's unclear what exact time period will be allocated to season 5 and 6 individually. Season 5 was initially said to be the final season, however creator Peter Morgan has said that adding one last season would enable them to cover the same period in greater detail. Although we will be seeing Diana and Charles' marriage fall apart, including the famous crowded marriage interview, there are mixed reports of whether or not Princess Diana's death will be covered in season 5 or 6. This onset photo of season 6 appears to confirm she'll still be around at least for the start of the final season, but this is unconfirmed and could be post-production reshoots or even a flashback for which the show is known for doing. Days ago, we were also treated to new posters for Season 5, including group shots and individual character posters, showing Imelda Staunton, who is taking over from Olivia Colman, who as we know played the monarch in the previous two seasons. Staunton has said, quote, What has been nice, and I hope I don't prove them wrong, is people saying, I'm really looking forward to seeing her as the Queen. Jonathan Price, now playing Prince Philip, has said, quote, Doing this and looking into Philip's background and finding out what made him the man he was, that was of interest to me. I'm more interested in their life, their emotional life, which is what the crowd explores. Dominic West is stepping into the shoes of then Prince of Wales, Charles, and commented on the show's appeal, saying, quote, I think people understand because the cast has been changed every two seasons that this is not an imitation. This is an evoking of a character. That's really where the show lives in the imagined conversations of their private life, which is something that no one knows. Leslie Manville is stepping in for Helena Bonham Carter, saying, quote, I had a lot of documentaries to watch, pictures, loads to read, but finally the scripts arrived and that's it. All the books I've read have different people's versions of events, so you've got to let it go in and just sink in. And of course we have Elizabeth Debicki as Princess Diana, who commented, quote, That's the amazing thing about playing these people at this time, because in the journey of the crown so far out of all the seasons, this is the most visual content we have of the royal family. In addition to the trailer and posters, Netflix tweeted out the upcoming Entertainment Weekly covers and a few screenshots of scenes from Season 5, not really giving too much away, apart from giving us a look at Charles and Camilla, now played by Olivia Williams, and Johnny Lee Miller as Prime Minister John Major, who took over from Margaret Thatcher. The Crown Season 5 is less than a month away, hitting our screens November 9th. But what historical event are you most looking forward to being covered in this season? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.